I thought you might enjoy seeing me go through the process of doing some uh, editing in CAD uh, in SketchUp. I've gotten a few dings for using SketchUp as opposed to SolidWorks or Fusion 360. Hey, but it is what it is, so here it is. Uh, and what I'm doing right now is I'm in the process of modifying old CAD, uh, which uh, uh, used a lot of honeycomb and trying to turn it into this design for the uh, modern chipper pro cub and ultra cub so i have these formers which i'm highlighting right there and i am converting them to a design that uses a lot less honeycomb uh, yet is ridiculously easy to make and uh, hopefully will turn out well so anyway let's do some work uh, what i'm doing right now is i'm converting the side angles of this uh, piece from honeycomb to uh, uh, aluminum angle, uh, returning the top and the bottom as honeycomb, and reducing the dimensions and increasing, uh, well, just changing some things. Let's watch. So, okay, make a copy of this piece. I like to put it far away from my workspace so I can go work on it. Okay, and you can see I have a little piece of angle stacked in the corner there, ready to use. Right here. Uh, explode and now I'm going to take out these notches uh, with this new design this will uh, be uh, just done a bit differently hey I'm gonna babble a bit while I'm doing this too kind of seems to be the way that it goes oops deleting some extra lines extra lines uh, extra lines and oops, filling that in, filling that in. Now over here, do the same thing on this side. I think I'm gonna go with a little different philosophy on this. I'm gonna delete the back and re-extrude it. Sorry, I can't explain everything that I'm doing. Now I have a flat surface plane. Going back in over here. And let's go down here. Cross there, cross there, cross there, cross there. Okay, that is checking something I did over here. Make a quick measurement. Should be an inch. Yeah, it's an inch. This should also be an inch. Yeah. Okay, back over here. Uh, let's see here. Oh, come on. Here we go. Arg. Yeah, you think you're so smart. Let's do it this way. Arr. Sometimes you build wrong lines in the wrong dimensions. That's better. Did I get that connected? Yes, I did. Somebody's going to wonder how I did that. 
I'm not sure I know the answer to that. I see a fragment. Yes, I do. Don't need those anymore. Don't need any of that. Uh, I don't need that, that, or that. Do need that. So let's go over here, clean up a bit of that. Now we're reducing this dimension down here as well. Yeah, excellent. And let's see, I should have at least three inches up there. Yeah, we do. I got plenty. That's, I think I'm drooling. piece I got my bottom piece now let's see if they are contiguous no they're not in other words there's a break or a nick somewhere on the edge how about the bottom one well I have got oops fix for that we are going to export them and re-import them into a flat plane a little trick I've learned uh, oops 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 okay this is going to be fuselage form File import. Uh, oh, come on. Where is it? Surprise. Now that is bizarre. It came back multiplied in size. Something was not done correctly there. Let's try that again. I think I know what I did wrong. Projection. That'll work a little better. Now we'll export 2D graphic. Export replace. Yes. File, import. Okay, in the top view. There we go. Now it's the size that it should be. Oops. Before I explode it, I need to move it because it's sitting on my angle. We're going to do a little trick with that angle, too. So, it's sitting flat. It needs to sit upright. I need to rotate it. Boom. Boom. Done. Thank you, angle. Explode. Now, we'll see if we still have this issue. No. The original model was not in a unique plane. Good. I should get the same thing by... Yeah, excellent. Okay, let's extrude this back to a half inch thick. Likewise, this one. 0.5. Over here. And dump in 
some aluminum paint. Make that an object, a group. And likewise, make a group. Can delete that old junk. Uh, and I need to extrude that up to the appropriate length. and make it into a group. Fine, copy it, put it over here, flip it along its red axis. Fine. Now it's up against the edge as well. Now make this whole thing into a single group. And drag it its new home over here. I'm laying it directly over the existing model. I'm going to actually use the line. Oh, phooey. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the original. And we have now dropped into place the new fuselage former. Yay! There's interference issues which are obvious. Uh, I'm going to reconcile those at production time. But uh, yeah, this is looking pretty good. Okay, that's a sample of how I do CAD. Hope you enjoyed it.